Hey there, JR. It's Alex. We're doing a GT again. Um, got to replace the trunk seal. Already got the old one off. Got to get all this remaining, remaining, uh, remaining piece of a uh, weather strip off and whatnot. And I'll be throwing down some nice new weather strip adhesive and a new seal. Stay tuned. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. So I'm using this plastic scraper very gingerly as to not scratch the paint to get this residue off. This is going to be a very tedious process, but once it's all done, it'll just give it a lot better surface to adhere to with the new weather stripping glue, and it will provide, of course, a better seal, not having to be uneven over old pieces of itself. So. That's today's project. Back to the trunk seal here. There was a lot of old weather stripping, but what I did was I smoothed it out so it's actually very smooth and it's actually a flat surface. Um, I was able to get some of it, most of it, most other else of it off, but from the other stuff that was fighting me a lot more, I was able to get nice and flat. So using this yellow weather strip adhesive, this is good quality stuff. Robert recommends it. Uh, this is simpler simpler to use due to it's not it's like a dual it's not like a dual stage black weather strip he said that we usually use um, from what he what he's told me and this is my first time using it but it's as simple as putting some on this surface some on the mating surface here letting it get tacky and just flip it up the other one you have to put some here some here and then you put and then you let it get tacky then you put one more layer of it on here and then you sit there and then you have to wait for it to set and make sure that it's good. And even when it sets, it's not as, for me, it's not as good of a outcome as I'd like it to be. So, this is what we're gonna be using. Again, I'm gonna be putting some on here, just in small sections, some on here, let it get tacky, and then once it's up, I'll be taking pieces of tape and taping it up appropriately so that it cures where I want it to be. And then, once I get this all the way around, it is a little longer than the, diam the uh, overall outer diameter of the trunk where the seal sits. So I'll have to trim once it comes back around to meet itself. I'll have to trim a little bit. Hey there, JR. It's Alex. We're doing a GT again. Um, got to replace the trunk seal. Already got the old one off. Got to get all this remaining, remaining, uh, remaining piece of uh, weather strip off and whatnot. And I'll be throwing down some nice new weather strip adhesive and a new seal. Stay tuned. Hey, JR. Trunk seal's almost finished. Just gotta finish going up and around here. You need the other side once again. Cut the trim. I love this stuff. Having used this and the black, this is a lot easier to use. You feel a lot more comfortable using it because it almost it adheres so much better than the other one. Um, so I I'm a believer in this just as Robert is now. So I just gotta finish up this section here. Bring it around. Cut it. Uh, let the tape stay on it for probably. I'm gonna put it on. Keep it on overnight just to make darn sure it cures appropriately. We'll pull it off in the morning, shut the trunk and adjust the latch appropriately because it is new weather stripping. There is gonna be a bit of uh, tightness to it. Jack's car experienced the same thing. It just needs to get settled. When I did the weather strip on my own car, same thing. It's just new weather stripping on an older car. Everything's gotta kind of be readjusted to where it sits, it stays flat and everything's good. Um, next after this, I'll be moving on to the passenger door seal. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration.